Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am playing around with Nasty Gal Beauty. And I'm not joking when I say this is a phenomenal makeup day. I picked up all of this makeup on sale. They had like a one pound beauty sale. So every item I have used in this video was one pound each. I'm astounded at that to begin with. But honestly, the quality, the way it applies. Oh, you guys need to watch this. Let's get into it. Nasty girl on the menu today. So we have the skincare refill. This is the Radiance Balm. You can use it as a primer, mix it in with your skincare, mix it in with your foundation. So you can actually use it with a lot of different things. What I'm assuming is that it's definitely going to give you some radiance, some moisture, it's gonna give you hydration. So this is what the refill looks like. It's actually quite funny that I've got the refill. I, I've not actually got the, like the original packaging or anything. Honestly, I just got this to test the formulation. So if it's any good, I'll buy the full size thing. But for this, it's a literally just a refill and there's no pump or anything. You can see the product. I'm gonna take a little bit out on the back of my hand. This is actually quite funny because I don't even know how to get it out. Okay, it smells very lemony. It's very reminiscent of the Bobbi Brown scent. Yeah, it's definitely very balmy. Like I've got it all over my finger here. Like, honestly, it's giving me Bobby Brown vibes. That feels so nice on the skin. I'm not going to lie. It feels like a really, really nice, sticky, like thick, balmy moisturizer. My face feels really hydrated. I do feel like my pores have been filled a little bit. I quite like that. It's giving me bobby brown dupe that's what it's giving me yeah getting it out of here is a problem i won't lie because it is a thick texture as you can see and it doesn't really come out that easy so i don't recommend just getting a refill like me but no the product itself is really nice like you know it's nice when you go in for seconds honestly that has made my skin look really soft and silky and just feel really nice and hydrated and prepped now i am fully prepped to do my base i feel like this feels really nice on the skin i don't really recommend getting a refill because it's really hard to get out of here but formulation wise i actually think it's incredible i really like this and i got this for a pound i will revisit everything after we've done our base and done the rest of our makeup to see what the primer is really about but so far love it Okay, so my base and brows are on now. Let's do some bronzing because this face is looking very two-dimensional. So I've got the Nasty Gal Bronzing Powder. This is in the shade Medium. I actually quite like the packaging. Like it's, I like the little rainbow ombre effect that it has going on. Comes in this really quite nice sleek, like cardboard, but magnetic cardboard packaging with like a little bit of like a snake print on top i really do like the packaging it even has a little mirror i can really appreciate that this is the shade itself and it has like the logo embossed on it it actually looks like a nice like cool tone but a little bit caramelly as well this is looking very pigmented oh it is it, it's pigmented pigmented It's a nice colour, like it's a very cool tone, so it's great for contouring. Blending wise, it was a little bit difficult and it was a, it's a little bit patchy in some areas, like you can just, you can see it's a little bit blotchy. It does have like a tiny bit of luminosity to it, like there's a sheen on my cheek, like it looks like I'm highlighted when I'm not. That's just like from blending out this bronzer. It does have like little speckles of gold shimmer in there, which... Usually when there's shimmer in a bronzer, it means it's gonna just blend out like a dream. This one give me a little bit of, it's testing me a little bit. <laughs> I do think it's nice though. And like, I got it for a pound, so I literally cannot complain. 
I think it's a very nice color. Like medium is perfect for medium skin tones. Really do appreciate the packaging of this. And I like how you can just get a refill because like this just slots out and it's magnetic. So I do appreciate that. Is it my favorite bronzer ever? No, but I do think it's a nice, it's a nice option. All right, so the next thing I've got is the lip and cheek tint. So this comes in a refillable compact as well. See, I do appreciate like the refillableness of all of this. It's very like environmentally friendly. Again, it comes in like, the same packaging. So there's nothing to differentiate the bronzer and the blush. This is the shade. It looks so nice. It's like a really nice peachy tone. I love it. I got it in the shade peach. Oh, okay. It's actually like a cream formula. I think it's like a cream to powder formula. So I'm intrigued. Oh, that's quite nice. I love it. I actually love it. Like the color builds up so beautifully. Guys, that is stunning. Like the formulation to the color to everything. Oh my God, I love it so much. It's definitely a cream formula and it's like kind of like wet and cool when you apply it to the skin. But I feel like it just applies like a powder really. Like it's sitting on my skin like it's a powder as opposed to like a cream product. It looks really nice. It has a little bit of luminosity. The color you can build up, it's just honestly, this is gorgeous. And the fact that I picked it up for a pound is just mind-blowing. <laughs> so absolutely yes to that blush. I, I just, I love it. I love it. It's actually formulated really well. Like, I could see myself picking that up all the time. And I feel like it works well on top of powder as well. Because I've powdered this area of my skin like under my eyes and i have applied a little bit of blush around here it's not disrupted anything right so highlight time so i've got the dewy skin luminizer again it's in the same packaging again it's coming in a refillable compact i love the shade look at this shade like this sh it is just such a stunning color this is in the shade champagne and these kind of tones and colors are like my, my favorite for highlighting I just love like a champagne-y, goldy, silver, something in the middle. Enough. I don't like something too silvery and I don't like something too gold. I like something right smack down in the middle. To be fair, I don't even mind a pinky highlight nowadays. Okay, there's a little something. Let's see if it builds up. Okay, that is really pretty, but sadly I have a little bit of a cast and I don't even know how because it, it, this is not that deep. I just feel like probably for my winter skin it's a little bit deep. I can see a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of greenness and I, mm, it's going to annoy me. I think formula wise it's actually gorgeous. It, it's as thin as a cream. It like, it basically feels like a cream as well. It's like such a fine formulation it looks gorgeous on the skin it does take a little bit of layering up to get this like kind of level of highlight it's beautiful though i can't i can't lie it's just um i can definitely see a little bit of a cast so maybe when i'm just a tiny bit more tanned this would be the color for me it's a stunning highlight like it just looks so like nice and natural on the skin i mean obviously it's not a natural glow but it really just has that sheen and vir it's virtually undetectable on the skin that's how much it just like blends into the skin it is stunning like i can see myself picking this up quite a lot it's not left any texture on my skin. It's kind of like another like cream-esque product, but it's actually a powder. <laughs> I do feel like you do have to build up the intensity. So if you're someone that enjoys just a little bit of sheen, this would be a really good option because it's not blinding straight away, but you can build it up to be quite blinding. Yeah, I really like this. I mean, it's, it's not my favorite highlighter ever, but I can really appreciate it for what it is. Again, I picked this up for a pound, so I really can't be too nitpicky, but it's beautiful. Even like the shade is beautiful. I, I do like it. it. There is a tiny bit of cast on me just because I think I'm 
my in my winter skin right now and i don't really have much of a tan so most things are gonna get leave a cast if they have a little bit of darkness in there but overall i think it's a really pretty highlight that blush though that blush 10 out of 10 for that blush beautiful the next thing we're gonna do is lips so i have a lipstick refill this is one of the matte lipsticks and it's in the shade warm beige this is the shade it actually looks really nice like it has the little embossment logo embossment it's really nice and then i have a lip gloss this is the ultra shine lip gloss the thing with the packaging is it doesn't say the shades on the packaging which is a little bit annoying just a tad oh my god this is honestly stunning so i've got it in the shade 03 pink but oh, just look at the state of this like, there's like gold glitters all the way throughout it. It is stunning and I can't wait to put this on the lip. Just going to line my lips with the NYX Nude Truffle. This is the creamiest matte lipstick that I've put on in a while. Oh my God. It's definitely matte, but it feels so creamy. I love this color. I would not describe this as warm beige in the slightest because it's very cool toned, very cool toned. I love a cool tone, so I don't have a problem with this. But this is like edging like light, pinky, purple, nudie, cool toned. Like that's, that's the shade range it is. <laughs> if it was like cool beige, maybe, maybe. It's definitely not a warm beige. Yeah, I, I love this kind of color, so I think it's stunning. The formulation is what I'm bl blown away by. Like, it feels amazing, like so soft and velvety on the lips. That's what I would describe it as, a velvet matte. Really nice. I got it for a pound. I'm like, I'm in shock. Oh, it smells nice. It smells like cocoa butter, like cupcakey. I can appreciate that. Again, that lip gloss, another absolutely stunning product. The only thing is it was so glittery and like sparkly when I first put it on. And now that is kind of like uh, meshed in with our lipstick. The glitters have kind of disappeared, but it feels so hydrating, comforting. It just feels really nice, not sticky at all. Just everything you want in a gloss. I can't feel the grit of the glitter particles so that is something to be wary about but it's just such a pretty gloss like this with like a nude lip liner you're good to go but these lip products i actually think they're phenomenal like this is so pretty as a as a gloss it was a pound this lipstick phenomenal formulation like better than some that i've paid like 20 30 pounds for it's actually really nice like I would pick a few more up of these and you know what I kind of like this like little it's like a mini sized lipstick it has a lid like I don't need pretty packaging I could put this in my handbag and that's it be on my way and it's really lightweight too so I am mad at this like refill packaging <laughs> right so my eyes are looking bare so we need to do put some eyeshadow on and I've got all of these little eyeshadows so I'm gonna take them out one by one and show you but I bought four four of them so this is warm medium beige matte i do have like a magnetic palette so i'm gonna be putting this in there so this is the shade like this is a really nice like nudie brown transition shade the next one i have is it's an iridescent lilac topper like look at how stunning that shade is it's like purple with blue glitters in it. it just looks stunning and then i have brown rose matte this looks like a really nice like taupey brown i feel like this will go with my look right now so much and then i have iridescent gold green no no green gold <laughs> oh no oh my god it literally just fell out and it like cracked okay so this is gonna be difficult to show you guys all right okay i'm gonna show you as best as i can but that is the shade i don't want it to kind of fall out and crumble again it's like goldy green as you can see so I'm gonna swatch them all so I can show you how pretty these shades are. These are the swatches. So we've got iridescent gold green, or green gold. <laughs> then we've got the warm medium brown 
we've got like the purple iridescent topper and then we've got like a rose brown they're beautiful shades honestly the mattes were really creamy and pigmented to apply to the skin the toppers are just like they are what they say they are they're just like a wash of glitter tiny bit of pigment they look really beautiful so let's get them on the eye honestly like this combination is so random but i'm gonna use them all it's it's happening so the first shade i'm going into is that a warm brown oh okay that's a lot more pigmented than i thought it was gonna be that blended out literally like a dream in two seconds two seconds boom done <laughs> then i'm gonna take that rose brown and intensify this eye i'm also gonna take that shade just under the eye okay i've got a little bit of fallout Hopefully I can just dust away. So my eyeshadow wise, I feel like this is really nicely pigmented. It blended out like butter and I feel like it goes with this lip a lot. <laughs> so I'm going to take that iridescent purple color now and go over most of the eye with it. Oh, that's pretty. I might try a different brush, like a more densely packed brush. Honestly, I have nails on and right now I like I really don't want to be putting on glitter with my nails. Like I won't be able to reach. Mm, it's a bit better. I might try it with my finger in a minute. Yeah, I think it's finger time. Okay, I'm never gonna say that again. Uh, so I finally watched Avatar and you know what? It was a really good movie. I loved it because I love I love like the whole world and like the aesthetic. Oh my God, it's so much better with your finger. <gasps> that is stunning, it's stunning. I don't know how I'm gonna get into the inner crevice of my eye, but we're gonna make it work somehow. It's gonna work. And yeah, I watched Avatar. It was so unnecessarily long though. And I knew this was gonna happen to be honest. I knew it was gonna happen, but end sequence, the fighting sequence, at this point i had held my pee for about an hour and it was hurting i was sweating body temperature going up and i had to go i had to go during the fighting sequence and i was like god damn it why i was like why so i missed a little bit of that but i swear to god after i peed my blood my kidneys my kidneys were in pain i feel like that movie damaged my kidneys like how can you have a three and a half hour movie without having an intermission? As like someone that grew up watching Bollywood movies, everybody knows the movie's longer than three hours, you have an intermission. And I just, yeah, I don't understand because a lot of people, kids would have gone to watch that as well. So like, how are you not having an intermission? I just, I don't get it, I don't get it. I don't even have kids, but I was thinking about the kids. <laughs> okay, so, got a large dent in this but that is like the situation it's pretty it's pretty it's not changed my life but it's pretty so now just to be a little bit extra we're going to use this gold green or green gold green gold and i'm going to put it in the inner part of my eye i don't know how i'm going to do that but i'm going to do it somehow wish me luck right, okay oh <gasps> no that one is just on a different level okay that that green gold a green gold has just changed my life. I think I'm going to put it over most of the eye. Ask me, does this eye match this lip anymore? No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. But it looks so pretty. <laughs> oh, me and me plus glitter. Best combination in the world. <gasps> Look at the state of that. I swear my reaction to glitter is just not normal, but <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it is crumbly, it is messy, but it is freaking beautiful. 
guys look at the state of this i'm obsessed with it i have glitter all over my face and i don't even really care it just looks so beautiful i am going to put some of the highlighter in the inner corner this highlighter in the inner corner of my eye and under the brow bone oh my god i guys i'm obsessed with this i am literally obsessed the mattes are so creamy and pigmented the shimmers are just phenomenal that green gold oh my goodness just look at the glitter on my eyes like i'm freaking obsessed i am so obsessed this is a great makeup day yes all right i'm gonna put my mascara on and then we'll do final thoughts okay guys this is my completed look and i i'm in love this eye look this lip look it just it's like screaming candy to me like it's just the pastels and it's just pretty and it's just so nice i love it i love it oh my god you know what it went into this like i had no expectations at all like none zero literally zero and the makeup the makeup came it performed it conquered like oh my god this i got everything for one pound like that in itself is mind-blowing but the quality i'm astounded like i've bought high-end makeup that hasn't performed like this and everything just looks stunning right okay we're gonna quickly run through everything I, generally the the gist of everything is that everything freaking worked it was beautiful right so the primer it actually blurred my pores it hydrated my skin i'm gonna buy a full size one of these it's the radiance balm it's amazing it's amazing i think it's a bobby brown dupe like it has the same scent but like the things it does to your skin very similar to the bobby brown it's left me a little bit speechless my skin looks and feels really good right bronzer blush and highlight bronzer I actually had a little bit of struggle with it, just blending it out, but I feel like somehow it's just meshed into the skin so beautifully that it kind of blended itself out in the end. Um, it's not my favorite, favorite bronzer, but it's nice. It's a nice option and the color is nice. The blush, love it. I, I, I freaking love it. It's a really beautiful formulation. It blended into the skin seamlessly, like it's virtually undetectable looking at my skin you'd think that i'm naturally blushed right now um the highlighter again same kind of texture virtually undetectable on the skin but it has left a little bit of a cast so if you're my skin tone which i would say like light medium slash medium i'd say in winter i'm light medium if you're light medium skin tone like me think about getting like the champagne shade it might be a little bit too dark i would opt for the maybe the lighter option I do think it's pretty though, it, but it has a little bit of like a grey undertone, which I don't understand why brands do that. Don't put grey in your champagne, okay? But it's still a nice formulation. The eyeshadows. Oh my god, I am in love. Like literally, I am in love. They are a little bit dusty, but they perform. They freaking perform. If you buy any of like the iridescent toppers, make sure you use your finger. Don't waste your time with a brush. It's just not going to have the same impact. But when you use your finger, like just just look at look at the impact. It's stunning. It's actually stunning. The mattes actually blend out in like two seconds. You don't have to do any work. I just like how is this possible? Like how it just it looks so good. I cannot stop looking at my eyes. The lip. Oh my god. I actually really really like the lip. The lipstick phenomenal formulation like it's a velvet matte really really comfortable highly pigmented just just it's a great formulation and then the lip gloss too it's like it's not sticky at all it's very comfortable honestly feels like a lip oil i do have like really pretty little bits of glitter in there the only thing i'll say is that it's not like the most pigmented gloss so it's just like a sheer wash of color but again a very nice gloss so yes this has been like the most positive video and i really didn't expect it but nasty gal you do a phenomenal beauty brand like everything i've tried worked for me and it was actually a, a very good quality standard so yes to nasty gal beauty honestly yes to them it's put me in a good mood <laughs> 
So again, guys, as usual, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe because it honestly it means the most to me. And I'll see you on my next one.